The computational age enables machine learning. Figure 3. Timeline of advances in ML closely correlate to increasing parallel computation performance. Just as investors have certain hours to spend in the day, ML often relies on a computational budget. The timeline of modern ML marks a new computer chip that expands the budget. The graphics processing unit, GPU, powers the parallel computation required to drive the AI revolution. Originally, GPUs rapidly manipulated memory to accelerate image rendering into a buffer for output to a display. The architecture of a GPU is designed for parallel processing, which is a type of computation in which many calculations are carried out simultaneously. This is in contrast to a CPU, central processing unit, which is designed for sequential processing. A CPU consists of a few cores optimized for sequential serial processing, whereas a GPU has a massively parallel architecture consisting of thousands of smaller, more efficient cores designed for handling a task synchronously. Stanford researchers Ian Buck, Tim Foley, Mike Houston, and current Stanford professor Kayvon Fatahalian pioneered the application of GPUs for computing applications circa 2007. Mark Harris, then a graduate student at UNC, coined the General Purpose GPU or GPGPU to describe the tools and usage of the set of programming interfaces that accessed hardware-level instructions on the GPU, which NVIDIA would rebrand as Compute Unified Device Architecture, or CUDA. NVIDIA seized on the opportunity to accelerate scientific discovery, a non-trivial investment. The NVIDIA founder CEO Jensen Huang invested in CUDA, which not only required a GPU software personnel division, but required silicon area on the chip die. The highly purified silicon chip die forms the surface upon which billions of transistors are etched. The die size is finite and closely connected with unit costs. Huang commented that the CUDA investment nearly bankrupted the company during the competition with AMD and recession of the global financial crisis in 2008. It didn't help that the scientific computing business unit barely broke even. The parallel processing capabilities of GPUs have made them an essential tool for DL. DL algorithms perform a massive amount of matrix and vector operations, the kind of calculations that GPUs are designed to handle. By using GPUs, researchers and practitioners can train large NNs quickly, greatly reducing the time needed to iterate. More subtly, GPU applications force designers into a different paradigm of thinking, colloquially described as thinking in parallel. Every introductory parallel development course starts with the canonical example of accelerating a matrix multiplication, allowing the student to appreciate orders of magnitude, 10x improvement in execution time. GPUs evolved modern AI because they enabled the use of more complex, larger parameter models that could handle bigger datasets. This led to significant improvements in the performance of ML models, particularly in areas such as image and speech recognition. Thinking in parallel requires NN architecture insight for performance breakthroughs. The pursuit of scale in ML, the reductionist premise is larger models and more data generates performance. In short, the approach is scale. As an underlying principle, scale is near and dear to Silicon Valley. It's a somewhat natural idea, albeit requiring significant technical challenges and investments in computational hardware. OpenAI pursued scale with its generative pre-trained transformer, GPT, architectures by collecting internet scale datasets. The untold technical story is the hand-over-hand -hand technology ladder climbed by GPU generations in concert with ML frameworks to make full use of their capabilities. Libraries such as CUDA and QDNN developed by NVIDIA provide low-level access to the GPU's parallel computing architecture. At a higher level, software libraries like TensorFlow and PyTorch paved the way for distributed systems, using clusters of computers for supercomputing. Supercomputers paired with OpenAI's drive to chase the trend of scaling to its conclusion led to emergent phenomena. Generative AI could write a rhyming sonnet while acing the LSATs. While OpenAI wasn't the first to pursue scale in computing, with Google Brain running networks as early as 2014 on thousands of CPUs, OpenAI achieved high art through multiplicative ingenuity discussed in Chapter 10. As AI continues to evolve and expand into new areas, GPUs, along with other specialized hardware, will continue to play a central role in powering these advancements. In parallel to these advancements, natural language processing, NLP, 
techniques were being developed to help investors extract and analyze relevant information from large amounts of unstructured textual data, such as annual reports, financial statements, and news articles. NLP tools enabled investors to identify patterns and trends that may have been previously overlooked, further enhancing their ability to make informed investment decisions. The introduction of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, Electronic Data Gathering, Analysis, and Retrieval, EDGAR system standardized capitalism. This system made it possible to access and analyze vast amounts of information related to publicly traded companies. While the standardization of EDGAR systems on the XML format completed in March 13, 2015, the sheer volume of data available through EDGAR presented a challenge for investors. XML enriches financial filings with metadata such as QSIP, balance sheet items, CIK, line item explanations, footnote tags, and thousands more items. Search engines such as Google are based on the PageRank algorithm from Stanford computer scientist Larry Page that aggregates linking as a signal of quality. Traditional search engines, such as Google, were unable to effectively index and retrieve relevant information from the programmatic databases where the majority of investment-related data resided. To overcome this challenge, specialized search tools and algorithms were developed to mine material ensconced in databases for relevant information. These tools, which paired web crawlers with content extraction algorithms, allowed investors to navigate and analyze the wealth of data available through systems like EDGAR. By integrating NLP techniques with these tools, investors were able to extract valuable insights from textual data, helping them identify undervalued stocks and make better investment decisions. The view of large language models, LLMs, as compiled data sets is built on data engineering. In recent years, the rise of DL and reinforcement learning, RL, techniques has further transformed the landscape of ML, especially as NNs are inherently modular and stackable. RL is a type of ML where an agent learns to make decisions by interacting with an environment over and over again. RL benefited from GPU implementations to achieve state-of-the-art results in complex tasks like playing video games and controlling robots. Some might say, RL doesn't quite have the same raw parallel structure encountered in vision and language since decisions are made by interacting with the environment with sequential rewards or penalties. However, it's not completely true since vision and language are core functions of RL agents executed in parallel for counterfactual modeling, SEC 3.8. Advanced RL has been used to develop more accurate and robust models for mortgage pricing, trading execution, and generative AI. Munger challenges investors to form multiple mental models in order to ascertain factors such as company management, industry trends, and economic conditions. While quantitative factors can be easily measured and incorporated into models, NL factors often require human expertise and judgment. As a result, creating NL insights overlaps with the holy grail of an artificial general intelligence, AGI. In Chapter 2, we arm ourselves with ML principles that ensure our discoveries really are effective. We add on tools such as cross-validation and a framework for abstractions. In Chapter 4, we build intuition on data, the fuel that powers our engines. We find all data is not built the same and define the boundaries of investigation. In Chapter 5, we'll understand how ML seeks to improve the manual design of heuristic systems. The ML way of thinking incorporates data sources and quality as first-class citizens. In Chapter 6, we start thinking in terms of systems, which allows us to introduce powerful tools like React and two-stage methods. Chapter 7 consolidates our hard-won advances by thinking critically in terms of human decisions and AI interaction. Chapter 8 can now broach the portfolio management question, not merely from a barren mechanical treatment but in terms of structurally sound approaches. Chapter 9 enters the intermediate stage as we pursue performance through objective function refinement and praxis. Chapter 10 summits understanding generative AI to round out a comprehensive toolbox. We understand how generative AI is trained to better use it and understand when it'll fall short. Understanding it allows deduction of where it'll improve in the near term. Chapter 11 bridges to far-term concerns such as AI responsibility and market challenges. With ever-flowing data streams, the ever-changing nature of financial markets, 
challenges the stalwart value investor. Factors such as market sentiment, government regulations, and macroeconomic events can lead to sudden changes. According to researchers from Stanford Graduate School of Business, ML models give powers to resist bias with the unconventional requirement that they need access to biased factors in the first place. Munger's famed Lollapalooza effect and other cognitive biases must be confronted head-on. Using ML, investors can be better equipped to analyze financial markets, identify misvalued companies, and make informed investment decisions. With generative AI accessible to individuals, ML will play an even more significant role in the future of intrinsic value investing. In the 16th century, medical orthodoxy hailed from the teachings of the 2nd century physician Galen. The revered Swiss physician and alchemist Paracelsus sought to disrupt the orthodoxy with radical suggestions such as cleaning wounds and fighting infection. He stood for the primacy of experimental evidence in the presence of increasing resources trends that eventually ignited the full-fledged Italian Renaissance. In the current sense, we're at the beginning of a journey to forge our own Renaissance. Thank you for listening. This has been a production of Truth Engine, Applying AI to Investing, written by Leonidas Tam, Ph.D., and narrated by Onyx from OpenAI. For more content like this, please navigate to amicasi.substack.com. If you enjoyed the book, please consider leaving your review. Thank you for listening. This has been a production of Truth Engine, Applying AI to Investing, written by Leonidas Tam, Ph.D., and narrated by Onyx from OpenAI. For more content like this, please navigate to amicasa.substack.com and selected figures are available at amicasa.substack.com slash pfigs-truthengine. If you enjoyed the book, please consider leaving your review.